Hello and welcome to Surplus School. Today we're going to talk about you need to avoid these types of toxic people. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button for more life amazing videos. Now let's get into it. Number 1. The Faker Faker is somebody that is difficult to understand because they always change their attitudes and personalities based on who they are talking to. They usually do this to win someone's favor or to get what they want. It is different from being just able to adapt to different environments. The faker is someone who is dishonest. It is difficult for you to describe who these people really are because you don't know who they really are. You may find yourself asking questions. You can see them change before your eyes. It seems like they are ready to switch as fast as one can just to blend into the crowd. You may even feel sorry for these people at times because they don't show their real selves. All they do is fake their personalities. Being with them won't do you any good because you will have no idea if their advice to you or the stories they tell are genuine or just made up. You might think twice if you can just stay and deal with it, but it would be best to not surround yourself with fake people. Number 2. The Backstabber This is someone who keeps talking bad behind people's backs. When you talk to them, they always act nice, smiling and maybe even giving you compliments. This is one of the most difficult people to spot because they seem like good friends until you learn what they are capable of. They usually think what they are doing is harmless, passing stories around, making stories up, but they just don't see the effects their actions have on others. This is emotionally damaging for their victims because they will feel betrayed by people they thought they could trust. To know if the person you are talking to is someone you should be careful of, listen to what they say. If they keep talking behind people's back and try to bond with you over it, then do yourself a favor and leave. Number 3. The Finger Pointer Do you know someone who constantly blames other people? Do they think that it is always someone else's fault and never theirs? This is the type of person you should avoid. Not only do they keep on blaming other people, but they also keep on thinking that other people will think ill of them. You have to be careful not to hurt their feelings because they can get offended easily and they might not be able to forgive you no matter how many times you apologize. Number 4. The Minimizer You may be wondering why it is called The Minimizer. It is because they try to belittle whatever hardships you are experiencing, making you feel like what you are feeling is not valid at all. It is not a good thing to be associated with people like this. It is much worse if you have someone like this in the family or group of friends. We tend to rely on people close to us. So if there is a minimizer in any of that group, it can really affect us negatively. When bad things happen at work or at school, the only thing that can make us feel better is to be able to talk about it to someone who will surely take our side. And that someone is definitely not the minimizer. When they hear you talk about the bad day you had, they will just tell you to get over it or that you are only overreacting. After some time, because you know that they will not listen to you or they don't have any interest in how your day went, you just keep your problems to yourself. Don't keep people like this in your life. They will do more damage than good. Number 5. The Unstoppable Do you have a friend or a family member that keeps on doing the same mistakes? Do they keep on doing so no matter how many times you try to stop them or save them? We know that it is difficult to see a loved one going through some difficult times. Most times you go out of your way just to remind them of their worth and that they deserve better. If you think everyone will leave the moment they get hurt, you are wrong. Some people just can't see what the pain is doing to them. And they can't seem to stop themselves from coming back. Watching them go through this over and over again makes you stressed as well. You feel for them and every time they do it again, you get frustrated as well. They listen to you but somehow they do the same mistakes. You on the other hand don't see that you start to see them as your responsibility. You think it is up to you to save them. But you should remember to take care of yourself as well. If it brings you nothing but negativity, then maybe it is time to let it go. Number 6. The Avoider have you tried to connect to someone emotionally and tried to get close to them but they just keep on pushing you away? Do they get angry easily when you try to make a conversation? Maybe it is just not working. You try to get close to someone and try to have fun with them but they keep on avoiding you. When problems arise, they seem like none of it has something to do with them even if they are at the center of the problem. They don't want to deal with people or different situations. You might see this personality in your friends who happen to be shy 
but this one is different. The avoider hides their emotions inside, and every time something comes up, they turn the other cheek. At times, you have to step in and take care of the problem yourself. You don't want to be stuck doing this all the time, so it is best to not get yourself involved in the problems of the avoider. Number 7. The Manipulator The name itself is already scary enough, so don't even think of becoming close to someone like this. They can stress you out so much. Being in their company can be exhausting. They can use all your hard work just for their own benefit. The manipulator thinks that he is the best and is above everyone else. So they think that no one is immune to their power. They can control you to their liking. They can either be very charming or very scary. They don't care much about other people's feelings. All that matters to them is that they get what they want. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.